Hey there, how's it going? I'm going to make a quick video on how to beat Rome Total War's short campaign in five minutes or less every time. It's super consistent, it only uses simple diplomacy, and it's broken. So let me load up a game as the Soleus is, and I'll show you how it works. Obviously, you want to have it on a short campaign, easy difficulty, but you could do this with very hard difficulty, it would work just as well. But if you want to continue the game and have an easy game, this is the easiest way to do it. So the basis of this strategy is that you're going to use diplomats to buy lands from other factions. You're going to offer them something that they think is really valuable, and it's really not. So first off, we're going to move our starting diplomat to go talk to the Greeks, and then we're going to build a second diplomat in Antioch, who will talk to the Egyptians in a couple of turns. We're also going to build a boat to carry the armies that we start with to go take the final city of the Egyptians once we've bought their land, and this will allow us to defeat the faction once we've bought all their land. Now, the main requirement we have is that our diplomats are in position on the same turn so that they can make negotiations on the same turn. Because what we want to do is offer 10,000 denarii in exchange for a whole bunch of land, but we're not actually going to give them that money, we're just going to promise to pay it in the future. And then we're going to break that promise immediately. So that would destroy our credibility. So to make sure that they both trust you enough to go through with the deal, you got to do it at the same time in both cities. So. Give it a couple turns while we get in position, and may as well get your troops in position by the capital of Egypt. And there we go. This turn, we can start making transactions. So, what we're going to do is we're going to approach first the Greeks and offer them 10,000 denarii per turn for 19 turns in exchange for four settlements that they'll sell to me. So here we go talk to them. It doesn't matter which member of the Greek faction you talk to. 19 turns. That makes it seem like we're going to give them 190,000 denarii, but we're not. We're not going to give them any. But they're happy to accept it, so we just bought four cities for free. Haven't spent a penny yet. Next, we're going to do the same thing at Sidon to the Egyptians. We're going to offer them 10,000 denarii for the next 19 turns, starting next turn, in exchange for five settlements. And since we've done nothing to show that we're not trustworthy we've actually done nothing we're not at war with anyone so they're happy to accept it for 14,000 they upped it a little bit but it doesn't matter and we still haven't spent a penny but we just bought nine cities from Greece and Egypt so now we can land our troops doesn't matter if they're scared of us now and we can get together all of our troops that we just bought basically and we're going to use those to take Alexandria so at this point Next turn, we're going to have to pay up 25,000 denarii. But the great thing is, we don't even have to. We can just immediately go talk to the same person from each uh, civilization and tell them that we're not going to give them the tribute after all. So there's no penalty for doing this. You can just do it free at the start of every run. Boom, you just bought nine cities. So now we have a foothold in Sicily, in Greece, in uh, Turkey and all of Egypt, except for their capital city, which we'll take now. We're going to knock a couple of armies out of the way just so we don't have to deal with them in the final battle, because Egypt's troops do weird things when you auto-resolve battles. So we're just making sure this is a definite win, and besiege them, and we can just take it now. So that's the Seleucid campaign. It's supposed to be really difficult, but it's not if you do this. Because the main uh, foe you're going up against in the early game is the Egyptians. But you just don't have to. Boom. You have 15 provinces, and you destroyed Egypt, so you win. So, yeah, that's how you do it. This is also a great start to any long campaign. If you want to beat the short campaign and keep playing, just starting with 15 provinces as the Seleucids is super powerful. You have a great economy. You have a bunch of land with lots of population, so you can really do whatever you want from this point. But yeah, I'm going to show you now, let's say you don't want to play as the Seleucids, because they're kind of a weird campaign. You want to play a good old-fashioned Roman campaign. So let's quit out, we'll play as the Scipii, and I'll show you how that works.
And I'll do it in real time. I won't skip around. I'll show you just how fast this really is. So I'm not going to be using troops to take Carthage because that takes about five minutes. I want to do this quicker. So you could do that if you want. Just move your troops on the boat, take them to Carthage, and actually take the city. But what we're going to do is just disband everything to make it faster. So we build our denarii quicker. Then we're going to move our diplomat over to Sicily to go talk to the Carthaginians. And up our taxes to make this a little bit quicker. So this is still turn one, and then turn two, we're just going to skip so that we can build up Denarii. Fleet ready. Yes, Captain. We'll go ahead and land our Diplomat. And then turn three of the game. Normally you'd be maybe besieging your first city here, but nope, turn three of this game, we're going to buy the entire Carthaginian Empire. 10,000 Denarii. 19 turns, and let's maybe buy five cities. And they're like, yeah, that sounds about right. We trust the Romans. We're known for trusting Romans. So yeah, you can start as a Roman faction with seven cities on the third turn, and it costs you nothing. You can just cancel the regular tribute. So let me show you now as the Britons, uh, if you want to not have to deal with the Gauls in your playthrough, you can just buy all six of their cities that aren't their capital city for 10,000 denarii a turn for 19 turns. Uh, there you go. They'll accept this because you're offering them basically 200,000 denarii. And you now own all of France, northern Italy, and part of Spain on turn three as the Britons. Next up is the Greeks. So... The Greeks are a really difficult campaign sometimes, especially if you're playing on a harder difficulty. You have to figure out how you're going to deal with the Macedonians um, competing for limited cities in the early game. Or you could just buy all of their Greek cities. And then in the same turn, you can bribe Athens and you can own all of Greece on turn two of being the Greek city-states crazy. So, uh, last but not least, the totally balanced Egyptians probably didn't need any help being broken, but uh, we're gonna go on turn two, we're gonna go see what we can do with the Slaeacids. So we buy all six of their properties. We now own, I think, 11 cities, and that's a crazy start for the Egyptians, as are all of these. So, there, I told you how to break the game. Go have fun, break the game, uh... It's crazy. All right, bye.